my name is Emmanuel Edwards. I am the owner, curator of the Goody Vault. Steven Vega, founder, creator, Ever Ready Vintage, Long Beach, California. And we're here at Standard and Strange on Mulberry Street, day three of the pop-up, Soho, New York City. Steven and I, we both had our individual relationships with the Standard and Strange, with individuals from the, um, from the store. But I would say it started, I did a pop-up here last year. The staff is, is just super helpful and knowledgeable, and it was just a great pairing of true vintage and reproduction vintage. So uh, it almost allows the client to see the foundation of like what, what Standard & Strange does. Um, they sell the highest quality reproduction garments, and we sell high, the highest quality like vintage gar of garments. So pretty much we're showing people, we're showcasing um, foundation, like I said, where these pieces come from. So we're bringing in that type of stuff. Yeah, forming, you know, personal relationships on our own. I've happened to know, you know, Neil for 12, 13 years now. We, we decided to collaborate together and uh, it's nothing better because it's bringing both worlds together. You know, whether you have the, the, the modern man that's just getting into, into fashion or whatever, we can showcase our vintage and kind of show them how you know, the archives come from what they do here in the store as well in terms of the reproduction aspect of it. That's awesome. Man. All right. Yo, best of luck with your stuff, too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. If you come through, man, just... Yeah, I'll be out in L.A. soon, and I'll, I'll, I'll go to your store. Sim and, yeah. Simple DM, man. I got you. I got Simple DM. That's it. That's it. That's just a message. Thanks. Let's do it. All righty, bro. Like, yo, saw you in New York. I'm going to be going. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't forget a face. Beautiful. See you, man. Be well. Bye -bye. Nice to meet you. Too. All right, see you guys. He's real right there. <laughs> Steve. Basically for the event, since it's summer in New York, I was just thinking transitional, you know, season to season. So, you know, back home in California, you know, you can you can wear a t-shirt and jeans every day of the year, but out in New York, you know, obviously they have seasons. So I tried to keep that in mind, bringing what I brought out here, you know, t-shirts, you know, light long sleeves, Aloha shirts and then transition into like light jackets, almost kind of like a spring summer type vibe. First off, I mean, I think we both agree this is it's a blessing to have people that really believe in what we're trying to do, create a community, um, provide beautiful clothing, and just, yeah, like I said, create community. We want people to have fun and uh, to, you know, find their style and to just enjoy a positive environment. Steve and I both have created relationships with people in New York, and just, it's really an open invite just to come and spend time. People that have similar interests just want to enjoy a positive environment. I met Manny, I think a year ago, maybe a little longer than that. He moved up to Chicago. We just connected right away. And he's also broadened my horizons to new tastes uh, when it comes to just, just fashion in general. But today I got this 1960s, like old army jacket. I just like, when it has like weird buttons or or like kind of angled sideways, like things that play around with like your neck area. I love that kind of stuff. And then just a shirt, pocket shirt, just a nice cozy shirt. Seeing, you know, you, you sell to people online, then you meet them in real life. It, that's, a, that's a cool transition, you know, because it's hard to project who you are through the internet. Face to face, that's what matters. You know, the internet is really big fake. Facts, big facts. You know, real life is when it matters. When we see eye to eye, when we can touch the clothes, we can share ideas. That's what matters. Some of the most delicious garments I've ever sold in my life are in this room. That's <laughs> really all there is to say. Delicious museum. Delicious museum. It's a good way of putting it. Yeah, I mean, for me, that's, I'm just, I'm filled and I'm just so happy to have friends and people that believe and trust trust my vision. We do what we do because, first of all, we love what we do, but it's the people. I mean, relationships are the, the fabric, the DNA of, of everything. People have been coming here from LA, you know, New Jersey, Philadelphia, uh, the Northeast, um, you know, it, to this pop-up, that means a lot. I mean, people are taking their time to get on the train for an hour or two hours to come see this small little curation that, you know, many of and I have created for this weekend, it really, really means a lot. I'm, I'm sure, you know, you might think it's cliche, but it's literally, you know, why I do what I do, because I love clothing and seeing people get excited about what they purchase from us and how they're gonna style it on their own. Super, super grateful, and it's been an amazing turnout. We wanna keep doing this. We wanna just keep building a space where people feel comfortable, 
where you feel that you can be you, where you can learn. We're exchanging ideas, so we just want to continue this, you know, this community we're trying to build. Hey, if we come to your city, just come out, have some fun, enjoy us, and just we'll, you know, we'll just share ideas and have a good time. <laughs> Smooth jazz. He puts on the he puts on the tape measure. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>